fucked up guys so here's a second take on the Philby rucksack yet again tweaking it in this case I've paired it to the mystery ranch nice frame and after a little bit of work adjusting the yoke just because it felt really really hard to adjust inwards but I didn't realize at one point it was just crunching up just because it was so much fabric I guess already um, so I pretty much maxed out you know the yoke in terms of um, the space provided up to down here and because um, initially the uh, yoke was sitting a little bit too far off compared um, compared to the frame and there was a lot of this kind of crunching happening back there so I figured it was a little bit longer so I just adjusted it a little bit engaged the um, load lifter buckles and just cranked them to the max and uh, that helped basically yeah let me just show you so it was like pretty much like so you know just pulling away and I just uh, yeah just shortened it a little bit and I can just crank this down again to the max it should stay in place and there we go and uh, that way I saved on using the auto lock buckles I just used the standard buckles that I guess have been replaced on this um, mystery ranch nice frame by whoever else I asked the previous owner like if they swapped them out like that's how they received it so I'm you know and they don't they're not you know selling army gear or you know military gear or what have you so I don't think they even know um, what I'm talking about but you know no uh, no problem the regular buckles seem to be doing all right at um you know cinching the the, the shoulder pads in and uh, they don't seem to be at least you know just by donning the pack they don't seem to be um, you know loosening or anything like that obviously um, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to have to test this system out, but uh, so far it looks pretty damn neat. The other buckles down here buckled in really easily as well. Let's see if I can, I can even see them in there. There we go. And again, I didn't use the auto lock buckles, just the regular buckles and it seemed to cinch all right. Um, you know, just fine and to hold itself in place just fine. So I figured, okay, stick with the regular buckles as well. So no problem. I just added a utility pouch by Paraclete on one side and uh, a canteen um, carrier, USMC canteen carrier on the other. So that's always nice, you know, make use of the PALS webbing there and have the, have the canteens readily accessible or what have you, you know what I mean? So the utility pouch, multi-purpose. I still have space here for another small utility, which I'll probably put, you know, for bits and bobs, tissues, snacks, what have you. But man, guys, this is looking good now. Uh, if you haven't seen the episode, the like 30 minute long episode uh, concerning the more detailed um basically uh, a more detailed um, let's see if I can get this upright there we go the more detailed uh, explanation or not even explanation just more like detailed description of the rest of these pouches then uh, please refer back to that video but just quickly going through oh the beauty is is that this by the way is, is still part of the Mystery Ranch nice frame. So I was able to hook the bottom ones down here, securing the frame in, and then run the straps and hook them up here to um, to make use of, uh, of this feature as well. 
And that eliminates basically the cost of having to source straps and, uh, you know, buckles and what have you. So I guess that's a, that's a, re a really neat little feature that just adds to this whole system. You know, it just makes makes perfect use of the system. It was like made for it. In fact, there's a picture online that I've seen the Mystery Ranch um, ice frame, like compatible with the, a series of packs. And one of them was the Philby Rucksack. And it's, it's beautiful. It just works really nicely. But just quickly going over the pouches. This is by 511. These two are by Crossfire. This triple mag pouch by Blackhawk and this one by Eagle Industries. They both house um, a pack cover. One is in woodland, the other is in desert vegetado. Then we've got the standard sustainment pouches on the sides. And, you know, just little extra pouches to accessorize the um, waist belt with. What can I say, guys? I'm really happy with this uh, <laughs> with this finished result now. It looks really good, and it, at least you know donning the pack on, it feels really comfortable. I was uh, I was skeptical about this yoke at first, but now that I tried it on, I don't seem to uh, feel any discomfort whatsoever. Um, at least you know in the upper back area. Again, this is just by donning the pack on. Once I ruck with it, I will I will be able to tell you more accurately. But you know, just by getting a feel of this ruck and moving around, usually one of the tests that I do once I um, I don a pack on is uh, sway from side to side as vigorously as possible, so as to see you know if the pack is bouncing around a bit too much or anything like that. And I have to say I don't um, it didn't. I don't feel that it is. I really don't feel that it is. And this is a pretty huge pack. So I have to say, you know, going back to the, uh, to the earlier episode where I mentioned how uh, Lars from Survival Russia, one of his friends, uh, did not like the Mystery Ranch nice frame um, on the 6500 pack because um, at least he mentions that it, it swayed too much from side to side, you know, it just bounced around too much, but, you know, at least by trying this on, um, you know, and, and, you know, moving around vigorously, you know, swaying from t side to side, I didn't feel like this pack was, you know, making me go off balance or anything like that. So, uh, again, once I, um, once I test this out, I'll make a review, uh, as per usual and, uh, give you the first impressions of how this rides but until then you know at least aesthetically wow this looks good man let me just <laughs> this looks like a really finished product oh i forgot to mention the mdom fatty wide load pouch Let's see if i can do that Let's see if i can just show you i'm gonna <laughs> put my foot there so it doesn't collapse but the M-Dom fatty wide load pouch has been replaced because it was just simply too thick. And uh, if not filled to capacity, it would sag over, you know, the zipper. And I didn't really like that. Plus, it was just too massive. Um, but at the time, you know, I found it. And I liked the fact that it maxed out the entire row of uh, the entire field of PALS webbing, which is uh, three by eight slots, three rows by eight slots. And I found a similar pouch, which also maxed out the, um, the entire field of PALS webbing. Uh, but you would used um, molly straps as opposed to the malice clips, which I much prefer. And it was a lot thinner, like half the size. So that was perfect for that spot right there. Just because, you know, I need a nice utility pouch up there. Just to put, you know, like phone, keys, wallet, what have you. But I, didn't, I don't necessarily need the thickness to go upwards. Um, especially especially because, yeah, it would just, it was just way up here, you know. Way too thick. But just like a mild layer, you know, to give it a brain, so to speak. And uh, add a bit of extra organization for bits and bobs. Then, certainly. You know, I found that for a decent price. 
and that is by I think Pantech. I think it's more of like an airsoft brand, but it it is Cordura brand fabric, so good quality stuff nonetheless, guys. And it is in tan, a, a darker shade of tan than the previous Amdon Fatty Wide Load pouch, but it matches the pretty much the Eagle Industries um, triple mag pouch. But other than that, guys. Damn, this looks good. Damn, this looks so good right now. It is actually something that looks like it was meant, you know, to pair up with this pack. Um, aesthetically and also, you know, just because this giant pack needs a serious frame and, a, you know, suspension system. So, uh, and this is basically both. So... What can I say, guys? Enough of me babbling. Just a quick update on this uh, project. And I'm keen to try this out now. I'm very keen to try this out. So what can I say? Um, what do you think about this uh, end result? Did you prefer the LBT2168E in tan or Mystery Ranch, Nice Frame, and Coyote Brown? Hmm. You know, at least aesthetically speaking... I'm going to go with the latter. But let me know in the comments, what uh, what do you think? Is this an upgrade from the previous, uh, or at least, you know, it's still, uh, it's still a little upgrade, at least uh, in terms of aesthetics. But, um, you know, in terms of the actual suspension system, then as I mentioned, uh, we'll have to try them out with both at some point. But I feel pretty happy with it, nonetheless, thinking... You know, at least by donning the pack on. The only thing that gets in my way is the BVS, but that's because, you know, I'll probably remove this anyway, so I would need to stress about these. Um, but other than that, it feels really comfortable, guys. Really, really comfortable. Once I cinch down to the max these um, shoulder pads, and you see that's where you want it to be, you know, on par with the with the level of where the um, buckle is, just because this is where it starts. You know, any any higher would have made this kind of, you know, sway away um, and then pull backwards. So just cinching up this tightly. And, oh, I almost forgot to mention, there are these, um, these webbing uh, tabs on the Mystery Ranch nice frame. And there are those, you know, ring, double ring enclosures on the Philby rucksack. Now, they didn't match perfectly in height. The Philby rucksack is a little bit higher, and these are a little bit lower. But, as you can see, they they pretty much work, you know, seamlessly, adding an extra point of uh, security, you know, uh, of securing this, um, you know, this frame. And it actually works a little bit better because in that case, as you can see, it's slightly slanted, slightly slanted. So the frame is basically being pushed that way as much as possible. So, yeah, and, you know, it works perfectly with the, with the Mystery Ranch frame because it has these tabs in order to secure it there. And uh, just so we've got three points basically we've got the sleeve securing it in inwards we've got this one tightening it down to the pack and at the same time tightening it inwards you know pushing it inwards to uh towards the sleeve and then we've got the last buckles in there and that's three points of securing this whole system and it, man it looks good it looks so good Anyway, enough of me rambling, guys. What can I say? What do you think about uh, this last mod? Do you approve? Oh, man, it looks good. So all I can say, guys, is I will see you when we test this out. And uh, until then, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.